Hello everyone. Today's topic is based on Limits Theorem and Masters Theorem. Now first, we will learn about Limits Theorem. In order to solve a Limits Theorem, we would be given two equations, say f of x and g of x. We need to apply the limit x tends to infinity to the equation f of x divided by g of x. While doing this, we might get three possible outcomes that is 0, greater than 0 or an infinity. When the answer is a 0, that means f of n belongs to big O of g of n. When the answer is greater than 0, f of n belongs to big theta of g of n. When the answer is an infinity, f of n belongs to big omega of g of n. Now let's see an example for the first equation. Let's consider f of x is equal to log x and g of x equals x. Now when we apply this limit x tends to infinity to log x by x we get an answer infinity by infinity which is of a form which cannot, which cannot be uh, defined. To simplify this further, we use the L'Hopital theorem. By this rule, we need to differentiate f of x and g of x and then follow this limit applying uh, step. While doing that, differentiation of f of x with respect to x will be 1 by x. Differentiation of g of x with respect to x will be 1. Now we'll repeat this step again. That is limit x tends to infinity 1 by x by 1 which is 1 by infinity that is equal to 0. Referring to these three conditions, now we know that 0 is our answer, which implies f of x belongs to big O of g of x. Now let us see about the second and third type of Lemon's theorem. Consider an equation f of n given as 2n square plus 3n plus 1 and g of n is given as n square. As explained to you already, on the lim uh, limit x tends to infinity is applied on the ratio f of n by g of n. When you evaluate this ratio, we get 2n square plus 3n plus 1 divided by n square. So if you can see, uh, we get same values on both numerator and denominator. So if we take the n square common in both numerator and denominator, we get limit x tends to infinity n square into 2 plus 3 by n plus 1 by n square. And on the denominator, we take n square as common into 1. So you can see both n square in the numerator and denominator, it gets cancelled. So when you apply the infinity on the numerator, we get limit x tends to infinity 2 plus 3 by infinity plus 1 by infinity. So if, it, if, uh, if you, if you know, the, know the formula, any constant by infinity is 0. So if we can evaluate the uh, equation is equal to limit x tends to infinity 
2 plus 3 by infinity plus 1 by infinity is equal to 2 which is actually greater than 0 so uh, this concludes that the f of n belongs to big theta of g of n now let us see about the third type in limits theorem consider f of n n f of n is equal to n factorial and similarly as g of n equal to 2 power n now uh, if you know the n factorial can be said as root of 2 pi n into n by e the whole power n so if we, if you apply the value of n factorial in the ratio f of n by g of n we get root of 2 pi n into n by e whole power n by 2 power n now according to the form formula we apply the limit x tends to infinity to the ratio f of n by g of n which is actually limit x tends to infinity root of 2 pi n into n by e the whole power n by 2 to the power n so and the, the value 2 root of 2 pi n is a constant so we take the value root of 2 pi n to the outside we uh, will get something like root of 2 pi n into limit x tends to infinity n by e power the whole power n by n 2 power n now if, you, now if you see both the numerator and the denominator as the same value of power so we take both into the in in a common term uh, that is root of 2 pi n into limit x tends to infinity n by 2 e to the power n now if you apply the infinity um, we'll get uh, something like root of 2 pi n into infinity which is the whole infinity now this infinity uh, can be concluded as f of n belongs to big omega of g of n now my friend uh, Denzel will explain about the master's theorem hello guys we are going to look at the master's theorem the master's theorem is used to find the time complexity of an algorithm from its equation. The equation will be of the form t of n is equal to a par a to t into n by b plus a function of n. From this we can get the values of a over here, b over here and the power of n in this function will be t. For this equation we have three cases. The first case will be a is lesser than b par d, second will be a is equal to b par d, third will be a is greater than b par d. If a is lesser than b par d, the time complexity will be big theta of n par d. If a is equal to b par d, the time complexity will be big theta of n par d log n. If a is greater than b par d, the time complexity will be big theta of n to the power of log a to the base b. We are going to look at an equation. Okay, let's look at this equation. The equation is t of n is equal to 3t into n by 4 plus n. Here the value of a will be 3, the value of b is equal to 4 and the power of n will be t so here the power of n is 1 so it's equal to t if you look at this we can substitute it over here 3 and then 4 power 1 so 3 is lesser than 4 power 1 so the condition is the first condition a is less than b power d so the time complexity will be big theta of n power d so here it's big theta of n power d which is 1 so it's equal to big theta of n my friend Prasanthas will... Uh, now let us look at the second and third type 
uh, now we have the equation t of n is equal to t of n by 2 plus 1 comparing it with the general equation we get uh, the value of a to be 1 and the value of b to be 2 and d is equal to 0 as you can see f of n is a constant here we get the value of b as 0 now substituting these values we get uh, a is a b power b so the value of a is 1 here so 2 power 0 which equates to 1 equal to 1 so as we can see a is equal to b power b uh, we come to the conclusion that t of n is equal to belongs to big theta of n power b log n now we get the value for b as 0 so n power 0 log n n power 0 tends to 1 so we get uh, big theta of log n now let's move to the third type and for the third type we have the equation t of n is equal to 9 t n by 3 plus n now comparing it with the general equation we get the value for a as 9 and for b it's 3 and for d it's 1 so now we are when we substitute these values we get 9 uh, is it uh, tends to 3 power 1 where we can see a is greater than b part d so this step this lets us to the conclusion that uh, t of n belongs to big theta of n n power log a to the base b now when we substitute the values for b and a we get uh, it belongs to big theta of n log power 9 to the base 3 which we can simplify it and write as it belongs to big theta of n square that's it thank you